Protecting Kentucky students from harm. A Louisville state representative says that's the goal of the bill he just filed. WDRB's Chad Mills explains what his bill would do to accomplish that. Chad? Well, it would require school resource officers at Kentucky schools, and the law actually requires them already, but this data shows hundreds of schools across the state don't have SROs, including JCPS. The lawmaker blames a so-called loophole. He says his bill would delete it. Lately, when Donna Kern drops her three young ones off at school, it leaves her with the nervous feeling. It's scary. It's scary to send your kids to school anymore. Her grandson and the two daughters she's raising all attend JCPS schools that don't have school resource officers, SROs. I think they need to find a way to put them in there, especially after watching the war incident. Um, they should have been there to break that up. Get the that recent fight and others also caught the attention of State Representative Kevin Bratcher, a Republican from Louisville. It, it frustrates me because it's such a common sense thing to have a security guard at every campus. JCPS schools don't have that protection because city budget cuts and a split school board vote in 2019 removed SROs and a proposed internal security force still isn't in place. JCPS schools are not the only ones without that protection. It's just ridiculous. Because Bratcher says even though state law requires each school have an SRO, the current law has a loophole. SROs are only required, quote, as funds and qualified personnel become available. A brand new bill by Bratcher would delete that exemption. And I think it will pass. And I think it'll pass pretty quick and overwhelmingly. Bratcher thinks districts like JCPS can find a way to pay for SROs, and if they can't, the state could possibly help. I've talked to some colleagues on the Education Committee, and they have said that if they need money, then we'll probably send them some. Regardless, Kern says it's time to make the change. I think it's an excellent idea. The change, she says, would make her daily drop-offs a little less nerve-wracking. Representative Bratcher says his bill should be debated and passed after the new session begins in January. Chad Mills, WDRB News.